Hey guys, today we're going to be making a stuffed bacon because I'm bored and I wanted to make something and what you will need is any sort of string that, it doesn't matter what color, but it has to be threading, like thread, a needle, I already threaded mine, but pretty sure you're going to see me have to re-thread it, and some cotton and your two pieces of bacon strips. Mine has little wire things and I'm gonna end up taking those out and then starting, cause you can't really do anything with the little wire strips inside. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna cut and do that and then I'll show y'all the end of taking these out. Now I have all four of these little metal things out, which I'm going to keep for another craft along the way because I love doing crafts. Next thing you're gonna do is sew these two together, but whenever you're sewing, leave the top, leave the top and a little bit of the side out. I'm just gonna leave my top out, but if you're not experienced with sewing, leave the top and a little bit of the side out okay so i'm going i got to the part where i have to tie it off and my needle won't be picked up for some reason also i'm using a box as my tripod right now don't judge it um so you go through one of your neck stitches and then hold the hole I'm trying to make sure you can see what i'm doing and then go through the loop that you just made. And just pull on it, and you have a knot. That'll hold it through. Then you just trim. And I'll come back with a re-threaded needle. Now that my needle's re-threaded, I'm going to continue sewing by just going through where I had started where I had ended I mean I'm looking for where my thing is coming out going through it you can barely see it but I'm going through I'm trying to make it perfect so you can see it better one second I gotta show this like close to my face real quick Okay, I think I got it pretty much perfect. Going, focus, focus. Going through the last stitch I made and it's not focusing, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, just going through the last stitch I made and continuing my stitching. For this part, you just basically do what you did whenever you started, except for backwards. You just go through the bot, through the thing, like that, and then now you can start regularly. I'll show y'all once I'm done, and I'll show y'all once I'm done with the rest of the stitches how, uh, what to do with the empty space. For me, I had a lot of extra yarn, but I'm still going to tie it off, because you should always tie off your work. So, just go through this little stitch. It's really tiny, so I'm getting it kind of close to my face so I can get it through. Once you get it, just tie it off. This is the easiest part. Well, Shut up, you just ruined it. <laughs> Once you have it stuffed, you're gonna sew up the tip of the <clears throat> piece of bacon. 
When you're done, you can add a face. I'm gonna use an expo marker to hide mine because I do not like glowy eyes. And now we have Mr. Bacon. The bottom of mine is a little rounded, but it's fine. And, yeah. Have a good day. Bye.